What is up guys? This is Extra no Byte, and we are back with another Let's Play of Hacknet. Uh, this is hardly going to be my second playthrough of this part of the game, since I tried to record it today and it just failed to record both the uh, video and audio, but I completed the game, so yeah, sorry about that. With that said, let's continue. Since I already did this before, I know uh, what to look for and how to do things, so I'll just quickly run through this and complete the game because there is not much left. It's going to be helpful for people that don't uh, don't have it completed yet, so here we go. So since we have access to this one here, we can log in and view the file system and we are looking for a password. So the password is located in doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, probably one of these here. Yeah, there it is. That's the password. We can get rid of these two. So we need this password and we can proceed with um, with a game. That's where I was stuck last time. I didn't read this document and there was the password. So we can go ahead and click on this and reply to this email with that text. And that basically gets that section complete. So here it is. Um, this is exactly what was... Oh man. Every time I'm recording I get these weird flashes on my screen. That's really annoying. This is exactly what I was hoping for. The place has been stripped clean, but for one encrypted file in bits folder. As you probably have seen, uh, actually I haven't even gone to it yet. But that file, I know how to open it. It's a password he told a few of us a long time ago that worked on a project with him. He sent us a message encrypted like this back then too. The password is divining or divining diving sparrow. I've already read it. Here's an email account. There's an email account I need you to look for. Okay. Download the file and decrypt it locally. Okay, so we need to go to one of these. Is that a relay? Yeah, probably a relay. So admin. And the password was uh, AX89889 MSJA. So there we go. Login successful. And then we can go to. Uh, view file source and then there's the bit folder with the uh, heart.dec so it says download it scp heart.dec so like I said I recorded this today uh, let me just turn the volume down of this just a bit too loud hopefully it doesn't crash my game because last time it did ah shit I'm there it is Okay, didn't crash it. Good. All right, so we have the file downloaded to our local uh, folder, so we can go ahead and decrypt it. So view the file system, home, and there it is, hard attack. So basically, we just type in decipher heart deck, and the password was uh, diving sparrow. Alright, with that completed, we basically got our heart.txt, so we can read that file now. Holy shit, that's huge. Um, okay, so I don't think I'll be reading the whole thing because I want to complete this in a single video, so... Uh, okay, I'll just go down to the more important part of the text file. Two, 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 two. Okay, so Bit made this program called uh, Port Hack blah 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 it, it basically allows everyone to access uh, computers and all of that stuff basically break into them okay so um, yeah mm. all right so basically the important bit here is just the uh, rc at, ha at ntech.com and the password bys byc 89k mme so let's go ahead and just add note with these or C and the password is BY capital C eight nine K M M E. So we'll use this to log into the uh whatchamacallit the Ntech mail server. There it is. 
So we can log in as RC and the password is PYC capital C 89KMME. Right, so here it is uh, or a uh, basic conversation between RC and some anonymous person. Uh, this is basically explaining how Bit got himself into all this trouble. So, uh, a former employee has gone rogue and it's threatening the project. Unlike most, I'm actually concerned that he knows uh, concerned that he knows what he's doing and could be a real problem. As much as I hate uh, being so rude about it, this project is too important to me and to the world to put it at risk over something like this. Could you discourage him? Details are attached. Call him Bit. Signed RC. And the reply is, understood, I'll take care of it. Okay. So, the next message. Good to have you on board. What exactly are your plans this time? He's important and well informed. I have put out the order. Expensive, but he will be dead within the week. Charge to your account as per normal. Okay. Dead? What the hell are you talking about? I wanted you to smash up his computer and arrest the guy, not fucking kill him. Call this off right now. This is going far enough. I'll deal with it myself. The man's a genius. Even if he's against the project, I want him around. Find a way to stop it, for God's sake. If you're serious about this, I'm holding you per responsible. Don't fuck with me here. Okay, so basically there was there seems to be a bit of miscommunication between the RC and this anonymous person. It's too late. Can't stop it. It's anonymous. You need to be clear about wording if you want specific actions taken. Alright, so I guess these bunch of people just went ahead and went to kill a bit. Alright. It's not too fucking late. If he's not dead yet, call this off right now. I'm revoking payment. This isn't what I hired you for. For fuck's sake. Personal value to the project aside, I'm not going to be a goddamn accessory to murder because of your stupid misunderstanding. The target is deceased. Payment will be processed as promised. Or my employees may take issues with their client. Ooh, I see a bit of blackmail right there. Fuck, 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 fuck. What have you done? This isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted, you fucking psychopath. Jesus Christ. Payment has been received, and our business is concluded. Ah, poor bit. Alright, so um, this email here has some information about our next um, server that we need to get into. So, something's come up. I need access to the mainframe to have a look around. I'll be investigating recent accesses and builds, so I need admin. Alright, so it's admin and whatever, so I'll just add note, admin, actually I don't need that because it's uh, easy enough, 328H capital Q9. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. Okay, so... Um, Let's go to the mainframe, which apparently is a server called Entech Soups. Alright, so let's log in. Uh, admin v19328hq9. This is going much easier if... <laughs> I should have done this long time ago and played through the game and then do the uh, video tutorials or the let's plays, but eh, what can you do? Um, okay, so we scanned the network. We already have all the things scanned, so... Okay, we have some stuff about uh, Hacknet. Okay, system bin. Okay, so there is nothing here. Um, okay, so I, I, I think I just have to reply to this and say, yo, I got into it. I got into the server. Okay. Termination, okay. Uh, Okay, so we received an email from uh, V now. So basically, it just says uh, re-download the uh, the sequencer program and activate it when you're ready. 
it gives us the IP address to the uh, the asset server, which is which is this one here. We already have it. So, with that said, I can use the old sequencer also. It does the same thing. I don't see any difference between the two. So I'm just gonna run the uh, the sequencer that I have here. But we will need a couple of shells. So I'll I'll take like three or four shell commands here or uh, shell terminals. Ah, one more won't hurt. There we go. Four should be all right. And then I use the sequencer. Seek one. See what the heck? So from here, sequencer. Boom. And activate. Ooh, dramatic music change. All right. So once that fills up, we will see that red screen infamous screen of death so let's go let's go boom let's go uh, we only have a few seconds to complete this so uh, let's overload and analyze at the same time because we don't have enough time the mission here is basically in the corner there it says break active se active security on the target delete all hacknet related files and then disconnect we can just hack into the server and then disconnect and that's gonna get rid of the timer but uh, we'll try to do it this way M M E T P L A C E okay okay we can close these and then let's go um, web 80 SSH 22 uh, FTP 21 Okay, that fills up that one. Okay, uh, SQL 1433. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Okay, um, KBT test for the, uh, the medical thing, okay. Ah, oh, takes so much memory. Come on, come on. And the last one is SMTP uh, 21, oh, 25. Come on. Hurry up. Um. Okay, we're running out of time and Okay, come on, close, 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 close. There it is. And from here we can run port hack. Hurry up, come on. There it is, port hack, and let's try this out. Uh, view the file system, archive, hacknet, and remove all. Go to the next, remove all, and the next one. No, this one here, remove all. Okay, I, I don't have time to clear the log, so I'll just leave it for now. And um, that's basically it. Alright, so we should be able to go and reply to this. Completion. Yeah. And so it ends. As revenge, it shall owe to me. Just lashing out at what he was. Okay, yeah, so basically... Ah, oh, there's another email. Uh, thanks, really. Yeah, no problem. Uh, return to inbox. Terminal. Um, this is from Bit. I'm not sure if it's sensible to be writing this one first, but it's all gone to plan. This should be basically the last you'll hear from me. Maybe the last anyone hears from me. Dot dot dot. But hey, this one's optimistic. If this ever gets sent to you, then this is the best news I could have hoped for. So thank you. I can't imagine it will be easy. This tense is going to take some getting used to. There's still one last thing I want to ask of you. Not that I haven't asked way too much already. Portax not quite a standalone thing. It was once, but well, you can probably understand now why this can't exist as something people can just pass around. Its core, heart, is the last piece left. It's built as um, it's built to be on 
temperable, but I have done what I can. This is my last quest of far too many. Bit. Uh, port hack dot heart. Okay. So we just have to hack into this here, which is simple. Uh, just run the port hack tool, and that's gonna cause it to act all weird. And there it is. It does these nice animations and all. This game is just amazing and I really enjoyed playing through this game. Hopefully yeah, you guys felt the same and if you want to play it and all of that stuff you can get it on Steam and want to support the developer so uh, yeah you might as well just go and buy it. It's, it's really fun. It has a lot of replay value and all of that stuff since the, uh, the servers and all of that stuff changes all the time. Plus there's a lot of secrets and whatnot, um, which is going to be mentioned at the end. I'll stay quiet through this because this is um, kind of important, I think, maybe. Hi, my name's Bit, and if you're hearing this, I'm already dead. It also means Port Hack Heart stopped, and my scripts worked, which means we're finished, which means you've done it. Doing this now was our last chance, I think. While they're in a rush to finish it all, and not under the eyes of the whole world yet. So, thanks. Thanks. If all's gone right, there's just one copy of Hacknet left to delete. And you're looking at it. Alright, so he's basically talking about our Hacknet, the one that we are currently running as a game. So alright, this has been Hacknet and we are finally done with the game. Thank you for watching and I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So thank you for sticking around with me uh, through this game and I will see you again in my next video which might not be a let's play, it might be something else. but. Yeah. Thank you and I'll see you all later. Bye.